Hey friend, John McLennan here. And in this video, I wanna share with you one of the baddest blues guitar riffs of all time. In this one, we're gonna look at how to play Smokestack Lightning as recorded by Howlin' Wolf. Now this song is actually all based around just one chord. In fact, it's a type of blues playing that I call the one chord blues. And Jimi Hendrix, to Muddy Waters, to even bands like CCR all used this type of riff in many of their hit songs. So let's get straight into it here. The first thing I want to talk about is that I'm not going to use a pick. In fact, Hubert Sumlin, most of the times when I've seen him playing in videos, he actually wasn't using a pick. So some people could play this like I might play it with a thumb pick but we're just gonna go finger style to really get that sound. Now here, we're gonna start with the open first and second strings. Now I'm gonna be using my thumb, my index, and my middle finger. So we're gonna pluck those open strings, and then we're gonna grab the third fret on both those strings as well. And I actually use my pinky, but you could use your ring if you want. For me, it's easier with the pinky. Then we're gonna slide from the second fret into the fourth fret on the third string. Then we'll grab the third fret of the second string, then back to the fourth fret of the third string, then move it down two, zero, then we'll end on two of the fourth string there. So all together, it's gonna go like this. A one. So that's the first part of the riff. Now we're gonna expand on this and I'm gonna show you something that a lot of players miss with this riff as well. But before we do that, let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know for me, this is something that I struggled with for way too long. In fact, I was scared to be without a tuner. It wasn't until I discovered a system and created a method that enabled me to grab any guitar and get it right away, right in tune with itself, just by using my ear. And it wasn't a way that is talked about. In fact, if you go to Google, and you type in how to tune a guitar or you do the same thing on YouTube, the videos that you're gonna see are the very common methods of tuning, which I actually show you in this PDF that I put together. I show you the typical ways and then the way that I tune and I show you why I think it's better. And this is something that helped me be able to overcome this problem. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. You can grab just this simple five step guide. Go to John McLennan dot com slash tuning and you can start applying these simple five steps and once you do you're going to be able to get your guitar right in tune without a tuner as well and once you're in tune then you can get to the music and that's what it's all about so back to this riff after we play that first half of it we're going to go one two three four and one and two and three and four we're actually going to add with that a pedaling bass note. And this is where it gets a bit tricky here. In fact, a lot of players just go and play that top part. And that's okay. But if you want to go to the next level and play it the way Hubert Sumlin does, then you got to add this. So what I'm doing there is playing my thumb on the low E string and just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. and then I mix those two parts together. And that's really the whole song. So as I mentioned, it's all really based around the E7 sharp nine. like some people call it the Jimi Hendrix chord but I actually would call it the Howlin' Wolf chord it is it goes back you know before Jimi Hendrix so here we had the E7 sharp 9 chord really being demonstrated when we do that right there 
then from there, we're gonna add a little variation. We're gonna go. So that's the open first and second strings again, and then play the third fret of the second string. Then slide up four, three, four, two, zero, two. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So you just have a little variation. The first time goes. Then the second time. So practice those variations for the smokestack lightning riff, and then from there, it's all about just jamming with those ideas, but keeping it all over the one chord vamp, or what I call the one chord blues. So hope you enjoyed this video, and remember that as you go through all of this, if you're playing everything perfectly, you've got the thumb going and you've got the riff on top, but you're out of tune, then that's a bummer. So grab my five-step secret tuning method guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you step-by-step step how to get your guitar in tune without a tuner. It's not a method that's used out there. You're not gonna find this anywhere. In fact, as I mentioned, I show you the typical ways that people tune, and then I show you why the way that I do it is better. And you can grab this completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more blues guitar, watch this video next.